Good morning, world. It is September 22nd. It is our third day in Uganda. Um, and today we're heading into the field. We're heading into the mountains to visit with coffee farmers to make the video that we came to make. Okay, so we're in the truck. We're on the way to our first farm. And I wanted to describe a little bit of what we're experiencing. We're going down this beautiful road. There's beautiful scenes of the mountains all around us. And of course, there's animals on the side of the road and people walking on the side of the road to and fro doing the things that they do in the morning. Um, you can also smell a lot of smoke. Um, and I'm not a 100% expert on this, but I think that folks um, do slash and burn where they cut down their um, plants and they burn parts of their fields to regenerate the nutrients so that they can continue growing on them um, and so you smell a lot of smoke everywhere we go but overall um, I'm excited this is a beautiful this is a beautiful drive So at this point I stopped recording because we had to climb the mountain to get to the farmer's house but we're at a farmer's house named Ajala. So this is Ajala's little son. His name is Emma and he helped me up the mountain which was so special. I will always remember him. He was just such a joy to be around. These cows are good posers. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I didn't know was that every day around noon in the mountains of Uganda it starts raining and I mean raining so at this point we were a little bit worried about our ability to get back down the mountain and had started to wrap up our visit so that we could attempt to go. And the next scenes are us trying to get back down the mountain, which are hilarious, but it's kind of scary too. I feel like, I feel like it, if at some point in time you don't find yourself sliding down a muddy mountain on the side of Uganda, you're just not living your life the right way. <laughs> you can do it. He wants to hold you. Yeah. Maybe I'll just take a run. Oh, Huh? Okay, here I go. Okay, you can do it. We have faith in you. Yes! Yes! You getting this, Nikki? I'm getting this. You are so brave. You are my role model. You are my everything right now. I'm about to fall. Oh dear Lord. So that was what was behind my infamous cow shed comment on Facebook. So anyway, we went to go see one other farmer that day. Her name is Harriet. That's her holding her little baby girl. And we had a lot of fun filming with her, but I didn't take very much video because at that point I was a little bit tired. But we did really enjoy visiting her farm and even meeting some of the local kids who lived in the village. We attracted children everywhere. And of course, we saw a lot of livestock. We saw cows and we saw chickens everywhere. And of course, I ended my day with a really good meal. This is beef and ground nut stew. Fun fact, ground nuts are just peanuts. Thanks for tuning in to part two of my Uganda trip. I'm really enjoying sharing this trip with you. Stay tuned for, for, for part three because we have a really amazing sort of sightseeing trip coming up that I can't wait to show you.